It's the middle of the summer, it's hot, so I figured why don't I go into Walmart and try to find some clean ice creams. It's gonna be difficult, but we're gonna do the best we can. I'm gonna show you what I look for when I'm buying ice cream. So let's head in there. haagen is actually one of the better ones. If we look at this chocolate one, they use simple ingredients. Cream, milk, sugar, cocoa, and egg yolks. How much sugar? 19 grams of added sugar per serving. Obviously not the best, but very simple ingredients, especially when you compare it to a lot of these other ones. So if we look at something like Turkey Hill instead, and I'll grab the chocolate one here since we just looked at the chocolate haagen but they're adding things like carrageenan, which is very disruptive to your gut bacteria, mono and diglycerides, which is a trans fat. And then they're also adding in corn syrup along with sugar for 13 grams of added sugar for two thirds of a cup. So I would much rather you get something like haagen over these with these extra unnecessary ingredients. Okay, it looks like we got some good options on this shelf. So let's take a look at a few of these. So we get a lot of questions about Kind bars and I don't love them because of the added sugar and palm oil, but let's take a look at their ice cream here. Pear juice concentrate, water, sugar, how much sugar? 13 grams of added sugar per serving. Not terrible, pretty common in what you're gonna see in ice cream. A red flag here for me is soy lecithin because I didn't see non-GMO anywhere on the front. And when we're buying soy, we have to make sure it's non-GMO because most of the soy in the US is GMO, which means it's highly sprayed with pesticides and herbicides, not something you wanna be putting in your body. But honestly, overall, not terrible. This is honestly a little bit better than their bars, but again, it's ice cream, so you have to take everything into consideration. This keto one is not a bad option. If we look at these ingredients, uh, this is going to be keto, so they're not going to be using any sugar. Instead, they're using erythritol, and I believe that's it. Now, erythritol can cause problems for some people, so just uh, watch out for that. Uh, I see natural flavors twice on this list, which again, you're going to see in a lot of ice creams. Oh, they're also using monk fruit extract, which is a great uh, sweetener. Oh, and stevia. Okay, fantastic. Um, but honestly, not bad. Potassium sorbate isn't the best preservative. Um, but again, not a bad option. This one by Rebel also looks like a keto, low carb ice cream alternative. So let's take a look. Uh, this is the vanilla one, so it's gonna be a lot simpler ingredients, but cream, water, erythritol, egg yolks, chicory root fiber, no protein isolate, natural flavor. Ugh, again, I don't know why they're adding that, but, and I wish it was organic, but not bad. So delicious is not a bad option, but if you get it, I would recommend going for the no sugar added one compared to the regular. If we take a look at this one, there are 24 grams of added sugar per serving, and they also add palm oil in this one, but I don't think it's in this one. Okay, so there's organic sunflower oil, which isn't bad since it is organic, but still not the highest quality oil. And then oh, they're also using coconut oil, which is good to see, but they're using uh, erythritol and monk fruit extract as the sweetener, which honestly I like better than just all of these uh, added sugars. Ben & Jerry's is definitely going to be one I recommend avoiding. Just look at the added sugar, 31 grams per serving, 94 in the whole pint. So as we can see, there's a lot of sugar in here. They're also adding wheat flour, so just be careful if you're sensitive to gluten. Uh, I see expeller pressed soybean oil and conventional soybean oil, so that's a that's a no-no. What else do we see? We see things like carrageenan, like we saw previously, and then soy lecithin. Yeah, this Ben & Jerry's is not going to be on my suggested list. This is a brand I've never seen before, Enlightened. It looks like they have a keto one here and then just a regular. So let's take a look at this. Skim milk, non-GMO, soluble corn fiber. Very important to get non-GMO corn. Milk protein concentrate. They're using erythritol as the sweetener. They are adding in wheat flour. So if you're sensitive to gluten, be careful. Allulose, a quick note about allulose. So it doesn't ferment in the gut like normal sugar does. So it's been shown to cause less digestive problems compared to uh, regular sugar. 
I don't like that they're adding mono and diglycerides and soybean oil. Mm, that one's not great. Let's see if their keto one's any better. Cream water, erythritol, non-GMO soluble corn fiber. Okay, this one looks a lot better. They are adding natural flavors, but like we already talked about, that's going to be in a lot of ice creams. Monk fruit extract. Yeah, this one's pretty good, guys. That's a good option. This brand, Real Good, is actually pretty good as well. If we look at their ingredients in their chocolate one, they're pretty simple. Milk, cream, and again, I wish it was organic, but still not bad considering we're looking at ice cream. Allulose, egg yolk, cocoa powder, inulin, and some stevia. So this is also a pretty good option. It looks like they have some different flavors as well. I wanted to take a quick look at the ice cream bars as well. So I'm just gonna quickly go through some of my favorite ones. So keto one's not bad here. Uh, Rebel down here is not bad. And then if you're looking for dairy free, then I like the so delicious ones. I've seen coconut bliss before, but not actually here at Walmart. So kind of in summary here, if you're looking for some keto options, I would go with real good or Rebel. If you're looking for dairy-free, I would go with So Delicious, no sugar added. And then just regular dairy, if you're not trying to do the low-carb keto options, then I would go for haagen -Dazs. Okay guys, I hope that was somewhat helpful. As you can see, it is difficult to find healthy ice creams. I'm actually gonna head over to Wegmans really quickly and show you two of my favorite ice cream brands. And if you go on their websites, you should be able to find stores near you. So let's head over there. So I'm at Wegmans and Coconut Bliss is by far one of my favorite ice cream brands. Because look at these ingredients. It's all coconut based, no added cane sugar and no natural flavors. And Fronin is one of the only ice creams that I would actually consider healthy. Because look at these ingredients. There is nothing like this on the market except for Fronin. It is hard to find but if you go on their website and look for their store finder, you should be able to find a location near you. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and leave a comment. Let us know what stores you want us to go to and what food products you wanna see. All right, I'll see you guys next time.